Former President Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty to all 13 charges against him. He has waived his arraignment meeting. He is not going to come to ATL for that court appearance next week. Other defendants in the case continue to protest. District Attorney Fonnie Willis has planned to try all 19 defendants at one time. 11 Elias Jerry Carnes is here to explore the legal strategy that is taking these defendants in a few different directions, Jerry. Oh, that's right, Aisha. Good morning. This is the latest motion filed to challenge Fonnie Willis's plan to hold one trial. In this case, defendant Ray Smith says there are, quote, too many defendants for one trial. He wants the judge to divide the 19 into what he calls manageable groups. Legal experts say it's looking more and more likely we'll see more than one trial. Moving in different directions, accused of being part of a criminal conspiracy, former President Donald Trump and his 18 co-defendants are not all on the same page. It has happened before in Fulton County. In the case of rapper Young Thug and 27 others accused of taking part in a conspiracy, only a handful are now facing trial. Eight defendants have entered guilty pleas. The others will be tried later. Just as defendants separated there, legal experts say we haven't seen the last attempt to do the same in the case involving Donald Trump. The others will find other reasons to be severed. Could be conflicts, could be uh, motions that required argument time from the defendants trying to move their cases to federal court to those who want to be tried alone and quickly. Criminal defense attorney Meg Strickler says there are several reasons why defendants in Fulton County's election interference case would ask for a speedy trial. In this context, I think it's just to move the ball forward because we know the main defendant, the lead defendant, is a bit of a procrastinator, pushing away. He wants to push this to go to 2028. Donald Trump has made it clear he wants to separate from any defendant seeking a speedy trial. Former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James says there will be defendants who want the former president in the room when they go to trial. And if there's a trial and they're submitting the voice of Donald Trump um, saying that someone who was at that trial did something, then that defense lawyer is going to want Donald Trump there because his client has a Sixth Amendment right to cross-examine Donald Trump. As defendants push to move in different directions, they'll have to confront District Attorney Fonnie Willis, who has made it clear she wants all 19 defendants tried together in a Fulton County courtroom. Legal experts still expect Donald Trump to take a shot at moving his case to federal court. So far, he's only asked to separate from any defendant that has filed for a speedy trial. Ariane. All right, thank you, Jerry.